Minecraft 2.0 has something very special, and it's these guys, wool-headed mobs. And today, we are going to be collecting them all, with science. Okay, not exactly science, but the nether. This is where the nether comes in. And we're going to the nether because we need to upgrade to 13W16B in order to get name tags. Well, wait up, why do we even need name tags? Well, it's because 2.0 mobs will despawn and the only way to stop mobs from despawning is name tags. And name tags happen to be introduced in 13W16B. Name tag? Yes. Okay, we can get out of here. So we need to duplicate these name tags, and to do that, we're going to be using a bug called player data duplication, and it's pretty much what it sounds like. You're duplicating player's data. So step one is to load the same world on two different accounts in single player. And so now I'm gonna to change to my alt account. I'm going to load up. Same world. And I'm also going to be on this netherrack block, okay? But I'm player two, so I'm gonna go over here to this gravel block, and I'm going to open to land to allow my netherrack account to join. Now we're gonna go to multiplayer. Here's the land world, we're gonna open that. And I'm on the netherrack block, so you can already tell that the other player is over there. But look, our inventories are the exact same. So what I'm gonna do is since I'm the one that connected, I'm just going to give my alt account that. Aha, and now my alt account has two name tag. Now say I disconnect, and then on this world, this is still the original single player world. Back to game, I can continue playing, and I can just say save and quit the title. Great, I've already done that with a bunch of name tags. So yeah, the player data duplication glitch does work. So now that we have name tags, we can actually carry on with the farm. And to do the farm, I'm actually going to be getting some help from a special guest. My name is Quentin, and uh, I'm a Minecraft Discontinued Features Discoverer for both Java and Bedrock Edition. Uh, and um, I'm experienced with 2.0, and I'm going to help with uh, getting wool headed mobs. So the idea of this farm is to capture the waves of mobs that happen in 2.0 have them go through a nether portal so that they don't despawn really quickly like you saw in the intro. And then we're gonna update to 13w16b where name tags exist and we're gonna name tag all of the 2.0 mobs that we need. Okay, so we're in 2.0 now and we can go to the server here. Aha, and now we wait for a wave to appear. Okay, a super wave. Okay, yep, jump scared. All right, so then I have to aggro the pigmen. Yeah. They're the oh, oh, oh. Uh, I have golden apples for a reason. I actually don't need that. Okay. Uh, F5. Oh, my. <laughs> okay. Um, but essentially, the plan is these guys go through the portal. Looks like all the ones that we can actually get have gone through. And then Quentin is going to give us the name tags and we're going to rename them to 2.0 mob and then we're going to be good to go all right guys we got uh we got mobs we got mobs uh here's a guy with an orange named uh, orange wool there we go there's a guy with green wool boom boom two two down okay let's uh let's give him a place to walk oh my goodness the knockback on some of these guys is crazy okay yeah and while Puff is taking care of the wool headed mobs, I'm shooting the creepers in the air so nothing gets blown up off the okay, mobs. I got the green guy in. We got a green guy. We can check that guy off. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Can't. How? I can't. I'm gonna die here. No. I'm dead. While Quentin and I continue blazing through the chaos, I'm gonna take you guys on a quick intermission to see another unobtainable in Minecraft 2.0. The pretty much only defining factor between hidden unobtainables is that they don't stack with the normal version. Now, what happens if we craft up new coal block 
check this out. Look at that thing. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. And then say we just want to uncraft it. There we go. Only number. Okay. Oh. These are exactly the same. Now, what if we do F3 and H? Oh, man. Okay. So we have our first hidden discontinued feature. Now, this is something that is kind of known as the useless NBT discontinued features. So these are things that have some sort of NBT tag or value that you can only get in one way. Um, and yeah, this is perhaps, you know, it, it's pretty useless. Let's, let's be honest here. It's coal, <laughs> but it has a cool damage value of 32,767, which is also another fun number. When you know about the 32 K pickaxes and swords and that sort of stuff, that's the max enchant value you can have. And we will be getting those in this series. Just you wait. That's essentially what a hidden discontinued feature is. And I've gone ahead and added Fool's Coal to the museum here. Awesome stuff. Okay, back to the wool-headed mob stuff. So we got one of each color um, of either a zombie or a pigman with the color of wool. You can see some we got doubles of, and so I might do something special with those. But we got at least one of each thing. Uh, you can see the light blue guy hiding beneath the helmet here. And then the cyan guy. Yeah, the cyan and light blue were the last two we got. Anyways, Quentin, thank you very much for joining me and uh, helping me do this. It went very good, I feel like. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, thank you. No problem. Also, thank you for inviting me. Yeah, yeah. Here's a pork chop. So for now I'm going to dig into my own and obtain world again. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye. Have a good one. All right, so now I'm back in single player and the task is to get these guys from here to the museum. And I've done a little bit of testing. They cannot go through in minecarts, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to make them walk through a portal and go back to the museum. All right, so right now I'm setting up the section for these pigmen to fall down into outside of the portal. Now, basically what needs to happen is they come through the portal and they need to come to right over here. Um, I also want to make sure that I have all the minecarts ready to grab them from in this section here. So what's basically going to happen is, uh, actually I'm going to have to kind of redesign this a little bit, is I want a rail to be, I guess, right here. Uh, and then there's just going to be, yeah, I guess we're just going to use powered rails. Um, and since I don't want them to like get through, what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, something like this. I need to test it. I need to test it uh, to make sure it'll all work out. But yeah, it looks like that will work fine. And then if I do that, okay, then I just want to test it now. It seemed to work. Okay, so I'm actually just looking through these holes here. Uh, this side here towards the ocean side right here looks like it might be the easiest because hopefully uh, let's see, one, two, three blocks down, there's another sand block, and we can just place um, a, a torch underneath it and then break it when we need to. They're going to flood through that one block, so it'll be a little bit uh, slower rate. So I want to try it on this side first. All right, guys, here it goes. Three, two, one. Um... Okay, uh, first of all, I didn't think that through too fully, but let me load the backup. <laughs> okay, so the problem we had last time when we did it is the sand all got destroyed. So what I realized I actually need to do is I need to make sure the sand falls uh, two blocks, essentially, is all we need it to fall, two blocks. So. Actually, all we got to do is remove this block. It's going to fall one, two blocks, and that should do it, right? So, uh, yeah, let me copy the world over really quick. All right, let's go for it, and then let's break this block. Cool. So that should be a lot smoother now. They should be able to walk uh, right to me, essentially. Wow, that went... A lot. Oh, oh. I was going to say that went a lot smoother, but.
Oh, oh my goodness. We made it. Okay. Uh, so now what I'll do is I'll do the previous trick that I had. Yes. Go through the portal. Haha. -ha. They're all through. Okay. Wow. That was, that was a good way to do that. All right. So I made a backup. Uh, we're good to go. We can load this point whenever we need to. Um, so I, of course, I'm just going to send it and see what happens. We're at almost full health. I'm assuming I'm going to probably die. That went incredibly well, actually. So now it's time to set up a portal and move them to the museum. All right, guys, so I got the portal set up right there, but then I realized I just want to move them once. So I want to get them through the portal and right into where they're going to stay for hopefully eternity. So I started building up the room. So this here, as you can see, has 16 gaps here. Uh, you can count them if you want. Anyways, uh, basically what's going to happen is they're going to stand here. And right now I'm just going through and putting in some glowstone behind each one of these. I finished up the holding cells and now it's time to move the mobs. All right guys, so here I am with all the wool headed mobs. I've already got one in for practice, but I'm gonna show you how it's done. So first of all, we're gonna heal them all. There we go, should be healed a bit. Um, second of all, the uh, original way I got them out didn't work out. So we had to do it through the corner here. So basically what, what we do over here is there's this little corner contraption. We show our face, we put a, we put a thing, we do that. And then we follow by just placing a minecart. Oh, and following. <laughs> yeah. So then what we do is we break that. He's going to go through. Uh, now have a minecart ready. We're going to go through, take a lot of damage, like a lot of damage. Uh, and then we're going to, oh no, I did not see that. Uh, okay, there's always something that goes wrong, right? Okay, well, we get a guy in the minecart. They go up, and they go in. And then I destroy the rail track uh, to keep it all clean in here. And check it out. We got a guy in. Then all we got to do next is crouch. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, uh, got to re remove that. Do a bit of that. Court's back and then re-log and they will actually be um, full height and everything. So yeah, that's how we're doing it. Uh, yeah, so I'll show you if we re-log here. Full height, epic. And we got already this guy in um, and so this guy is in now. So I'm gonna continue doing this over and over and over until I have all of them in. So I'll bring you guys back when I've done all of the dirty work here. And it's done. Every single color wool headed mob in a slot. Absolutely amazing. So, I actually recorded all of this and I did it in time lapse form. If you're interested in watching that, it's uh, up for all of my YouTube members. So, if you do join at any zero, you get access to behind the scenes stuff that I'm going to start posting more and more of. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, now all I'm going to do is put together a colorful roof because this is the room of color. So what I'm going to do is a stripe of each of the colors I can fit in this room. So the first one here is going to be light blue all the way to here. Then we're going to go ahead and do an orange. I, I'm not doing this in any particular order, by the way, I'm just kind of going whatever seems good looking. Uh, so we're going to go all the way to here and then we're going to do purple. And there we go, everybody. The room is now complete. All we got to do now is an entrance, which frankly is not going to be today's episode because guys, I have spent far too long on this episode. I was supposed to get it out uh, last weekend and it's now the next week. And yeah, it's it's been a long one with a lot of work going into it. So if you did enjoy it, please make sure to leave a like or even subscribe if you if you feel so inclined. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.
And uh, yeah, next episode is going to be pretty crazy. Oh, there's my dog. Bye-bye.